Lucas joins us now with more on how it's impacting people here on the Central Coast. Monica? Spencer and Amanda, three big factors are driving this week's worries. Concerns over China's economy, the U.S. Federal Reserve's benchmark interest rate, and oil prices. For some investors, that means taking a break from the stock market game. That's the sound of a bad week coming to an end for America's stock market. The Dow lost more than 530 points, the biggest weekly point drop since August 2011. But from Wall Street to Main Street, it's not bad news for everyone. All the precious minerals are going up by the hour, by the minute, by the day. Tony De La Torre runs this jewelry store in Salinas and has been glued to the stock market for the last week. He says when things dip, that's when people start investing in precious metals. It helps our business because people start looking into investing in coin, gold coins, uh, diamonds, etc. Also diamonds are included. And uh, it works in to our advantage. Still at the New York Stock Exchange, traders watch the numbers on the big board fall. Finance expert Steve Merrill with Monterey Private Wealth says it's concerning, but not a reason to panic. When people get all emotional in their investing, that's when they get hurt. Merrill says this is normal and people should not be worried about their personal investments or make big decisions based on a few bad days. Times like this can become opportunities for you. Times like this can become um, a chance for you to round out your portfolio, to restructure it. And De La Torre is definitely taking the opportunity. We're watching every day the prices of the precious metals because that's what we do for a living. We buy, sell, trade. Now we won't know the full extent until the markets open Monday to see if this is just a bad week or signs of a bigger problem. Monica Hawkes, News Channel 5. Thank you, Monica. Today